Master Ken here with another Secret Street Fighting tip. Again, continuing the Ameridote anti-grappling series where I'm teaching you how to deal with no gi but JJ fighters in the street. I'm gonna go with a pet peeve that I have on this one. Something I always hear instructors telling new students. When they talk about closing the distance, getting to the clinch where they can do their grappling bullshit, what they always say is, you want the underhooks. Underhooks taking the hands going underneath the armpits and hooking the shoulders where supposedly you now have more control. And they will further warn students. They'll say, whatever you do, don't give them the underhooks, as in Bob reaching up and gaining control of me, because now supposedly I'm in a terribly disadvantaged position. Here's what I tell my students. Please give them the underhooks. In Ameridote, I don't see a problem with this. I'm out in the street. I'm not in some bullshit no gi but JJ tournament. This guy gets the underhooks on me and I go, oh no, what am I going to do except poke your freaking eyes out? He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except grab the back of the head, elbow right to the face. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except double punch him right in the temple. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except tiger claw his nipples. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except the thrust of freedom right to the groin? Oh no, he's got the underhooks. What am I going to do except cup my hands, forcing air into the eardrums, bursting them? Oh no, he's got the underhooks. What am I gonna do except grab his trachea and rip his throat right out? He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except dig my tiger claws into his clavicles? He grabs the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except bite his nose off? He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Except do a tongue punch right to the eye. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Except reach underneath and snap that arm. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Except break both of his arms. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Except pull both his arms out of their sockets. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Except grab the skin on the back of his triceps, pinching and knee to the groin. He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except reach into his mouth and pull out his tongue? He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except take my tiger claw, slice his forehead open, grab his scalp, and peel it down the back of his head? He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except create a vacuum seal over his mouth and blow air into his lungs until they explode? <laughs> He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except a series of inverted punches down his spinal cord, busting every vertebrae in his body? Oh no, he's getting the underhooks. What am I gonna do except take my thumbs, jam them into his armpits where there's a series of nerves that will cause him to pass out, pick up his body, take it outside, put it in the trunk of my car, drive to a bridge, throw him off the bridge into the river, go rent myself a white water river rafting trip, travel down the river until I find his corpse, drag him out of the water, resuscitate him using CPR, look him in the face and say, why don't you try those dumbass underhooks again? He goes for the underhooks. Oh no, what am I gonna do except break his freaking neck? And as always, restomp that groin. I'm Master Ken, that was another Secret Street Fighting tip. Us. Check out the Master Ken collection of rash guards at nogeebjjgear.com and save on your next purchase with the promo code RESTOMP. That's nogeebjjgear.com and remember, always restomp that groin.